Good day everyone! I am Teacher Jess and I will be your teacher for today. Our lesson for today is all about... Okay class, I want you to watch this video. Before we proceed, let's read the vocabularies. Number one, numbers. Next, process skills. Number three, hypothesis. Okay, let's go. Okay, now let's move the eight basic science process skills. Number one, using space-time relationship. Number two, math. Number three, Inferring number four using numbers. Five, predicting. Number six, observing. Number seven, organizing data and communicating. And last number, classifying. Now let's move to the six integrated science process skills. Formulating, hypothesis. Next, experimenting. Number three, modeling. Number four, identifying and controlling variables. Number five, defining operationally. Number six, interpreting data and making conclusion. That is the six integrated science process skills. Okay, now class, let's continue and I will explain some of them. First one, measurement skills. Using both standard and non-standard units of measure or a statement to describe the dimensions of an object or event. Comparing an unknown quantity with a known quantity. Measurements are to be recorded in an orderly and systemic fashion with labeled units of measure. This is the example of measurement tools. Length, linear measurement base unit meter. Volume, capacity base unit liter. Weight, mass base unit gram. Te temperature, hot cold base unit Celsius. Using number scale. Turn what found from observing, measuring, experimenting, or searching into numbers or values. This can be done by counting or calculating such numbers. Next, formulating hypothesis. Guess or predict the answer to the answer to the question or problem that we want to solve before we do an experiment. This can be done by observing, linking the problem to what we have learned or to our experience. Experimenting. We have three types. It is design an experiment. This is the step of planning an experiment before doing it. Next, do the experiment. This is the step by carrying out the experiment that we design and using the instrument correctly. And last, record the result of the experiment. This is the step of planning an experiment before doing it. Okay class, let's go for your activity. Page 8. Let's try this. Match each picture with the correct science process skills. Class, don't forget to answer your activity. I hope you learned a lot today. Once again, I am Teacher Jess. See you soon and bye!